do you have a Raspberry Pi? Do you also have a Raspberry Pi camera module? If you have said yes twice, then welcome to a facial recognition project with a Raspberry Pi. For this project, I will be assuming that you already have a Raspberry Pi OS or a Raspbian install. With that in mind, let's first get into installing some dependencies and libraries. So for the first part, we would be installing some dependencies and libraries as well as cloning a GitHub repo. And I also want to thank MyPyUp for making the incredible article that I base this project on. With that in mind, I've also put all of the commands down in the description for reference. The wait time for running these commands should not take more than 40 minutes. Now, go onto the facial recognition folder you have just cloned. In here, go into dataset and create a folder with your name on it. Now, my name is Thomas. That's why I have a Thomas folder here. Optionally, inside here, you can put your own images so that it can help with the training process. Okay. Now the wait is over. This is the fun part. We will be training our model using headshots of yourself. This is done by first running a Python script that takes pictures of your faces and use that to train our model. The more pictures taken, the more time it will take for the model to be trained, but the more precise and accurate the program will be. Personally, for this project, I will be doing 50 headshots. So first, get into the folder we just cloned. CD facial recognition. So in here, we have a couple of Python script. We first will be running a Python script to take our headshot, and then we'll be training the model with another script. So let's do Python 3, headshots, pycam.py. This should start launching the camera. Look at that, that's me. So like you said, press space to take a feed photo. Middle, make it look nicer. It's about 15, 16, 17 pictures now. It's, it's best to take a lot of angles. You know, I was already 60. Let's make it 60. Okay, take enough photos. Press Q to quit. Well, as it turns out, pressing escape is how you escape it. With that in mind, moving on. So the next step is to use a picture we just took to train the model. It's gonna be a long time, so I would recommend you watching a YouTube video. This will take about 40 minutes. Okay, now I promise the wait is actually over. Let's go ahead and recognize some faces. Well. In this case, it's my face. Get back into facial recognition folder. Type in Python 3 facial reg, short for recognition, dot pi. Press enter. Can you see that? I mean, it's not the most FPS in the world, but it's recognizing me at every single frame. I gotta say, 50 pictures is more than enough. Let's turn my head around and see if it still recognizes me. I guess it can't see me from the side. Well, although it seems like the right side works just fine though. Even the top of my head seems to work quite consistently. Well, until a certain angle. And yes, it cannot recognize my chin. Well, that was really good. Now, if you quit the program, press escape. Actually, this time, press Q to exit. You can read that we have been running the program for 126 seconds. And on average, we get 0.77 frame per second. Now, normally, when testing this, I get about 1.5 frame per second. This low frame per second is due to the fact that I'm also running a screen recording program on the Raspberry Pi. So I can guarantee that if you're using a Pi 4 like I'm using right now, your performance would be much better. So that was the simplest way of doing facial recognition on a Raspberry Pi. AI might seem like a big and scary word for a lot of people, but in fact, a lot of projects can be as simple as what I just showed you. I hope that you have enjoyed the video so far and thank you for watching. Have a good day.